Hi, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. When Headcount became available on VOD, I simply kept scrolling. I feel like it was because it was called Headcount, and to me that reminds me of Body Count, which is very slasherish, and I'm not a slasher fiend, if you didn't know that. What also didn't help was its poster, although I really like the look and the feel of it. It showed two people in a hot tub, looking over their shoulder fearfully, and that also says slasher to me, so I jumped to the conclusion that this must be just another 2019 slasher. But it wasn't until my friend and Patreon Steven said that he watched the film and he didn't hate it, <laughs> that I thought maybe I'll give it a go. And it turns out I was completely wrong because this isn't a slasher at all. In fact, it's a unique and dynamic psychological horror movie mind. <laughs> Directed by L. Cullahan, Headcount is about Evan, a young man who has a rocky relationship with his brother. While on a trip visiting his brother in Joshua Tree, Evan latches onto a group of strangers, but things soon turn sour when something comes to visit them at night. Yes, I know I'm being very vague here, but it is important to go into this one blind because there is no direction in this film and that is the pure thrill of it. The film starts quite slow with a strange setup and at first I was put off by this, but it really made the character's dynamic unique. The fact that Evan is surrounded by strangers really puts a spin on the film because we're so used to these people in horror movies going out to these weird locations with their friends on road trips. It's such a horror cliche. And in this film, like Evan, you don't know who to trust. It's really important in films like this where it has no direction and you're not really sure what's happening next to keep the audience's attention and to keep them highly engaged. And I think the editing in this film is fantastic for that. There's a lot of whip pans, there's a lot of fly throughs, and there's even some glitches. I know, kettle meat pot, but the glitching just didn't fit in on this one. Everything else I loved. The film really has you on the edge of your seat in an unsettling and uncomfortable position. It's one of those films that really keep you guessing what is reality and it's also like a puzzle for the viewer to play. The production also has a very unique feel. Everything is polished from the stunning sets to the contrast slick grading and the vigorous score. And the acting paired with this editing really gives it its edge. It's a modern film utilizing current film trends in all the right ways whilst sticking true to its simple yet jolting storyline. I really enjoyed the characters in this film. I feel like they tiptoe around the common stereotypes, especially in horror movies, but they do so without diving in, making each of them individual and realistic. This is unlike the caricatures that we see so much in horror movies. But unfortunately, there is a catch. There's certain aspects of this film that leave me thinking less is more, and especially that comes to a reveal. If you can't do something well in a horror movie, leave it up to the imagination. The director, Elle Cullahan, comes from a sound background. This is her first time directing a feature film. She was also the sound editor for this film. If this film is any indication of her vision, I am excited to see what's next from her. And I know she is now working on another production called Witch Hunt. So keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> Headcount is one of the more unique horror releases I've come across this year. And if you're looking to stream something a little bit more psychological and down to earth this weekend, it could be a good one to tuck in. Into. This is especially if you're a fan of modern independent film. The film doesn't look independent by any means. As I said, it's very well polished, but if you're into little psychological mind games, you're gonna love this one. And I was just so impressed that it wasn't a slasher and it was something so unique. Don't get me wrong, I love a slasher every once in a while, but my dosage is quite low. I'm gonna give this one a personal score of seven. I love the story. I like the themes in the story as well. Um, it was just a aspect that kind of took it down a notch for me. You guys will definitely know what that is when you see it. Scare score, I'm gonna give it a five. This is because it has very graphic content towards the end of the film that is quite shocking, very jolting and gory. And for originality, I'm gonna give it a seven. I think you guys should really check out Headcount. Let me know what you think. I think that the title was perfect for this film and it was so sad that it fooled me the first time but I really think you guys are gonna love it I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed now's the perfect time to we're on the countdown to 30k I can't believe it I'll talk to you guys very soon stay spooky bye